So the idea is we have some original system, we have an input output metric. So the idea is can we create another system, so called a non minimal system, such that we have the same input output mapping, but for this non minimal system, we know the states because here in the original system, the states are unknown. So with this construction, basically, our aim is to generate the system states. So the punchline is this will allow us to cast an output feedback problem as a full state feedback problem, which uh, instead of designing an observer-based controller, this will be observer-free, so we know the states starting from t equals to zero. Or if you use an observer-based, estimation of the states will take some time, so this is the uh, one advantage uh, of using non-minimal state-based realization. So here I have the system A, B, 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 C, D. Here, system state, X, B, unknown, control, system output. Again, these system matrices are unknown. Also, system order is unknown. But I am going to assume that it is bounded, upper bounded by N. So if we choose N to be, let's say, 10 system order, we allow it can be 8, 5, whatever, but it is upper bounded by 10. So nothing much is known, but of course, uh, we assume controllability and observability of the linear uncertain dynamical system GP. So the first step is writing an input-output equivalent non-minimal observer canonical state space model GO of the actual system. Basically, here, basically here, XO is an expanded state, and AO can be constructed like minus A0 to minus A and 1. So basically, here are um, these are nothing but the characteristic polynomial coefficients of the actual system AT that we do not know. So here is the B matrix, basically has uh, Markov parameters, C, T, B, T, and so on and so forth. And here C0 is identity and the rest is zero. Again, I'm uh, just formula trying to formulate the problem. In the next step, I am using this output. I will differentiate this output by n times. So I am multiplying it by first characteristic polynomial coefficient is zero, and differentiating it, I am just multiplying it the first derivative by a1, so on and so forth. So we have n uh, derivatives of y, including its own. So here, uh, since these things getting longer and longer, I will call b0 to be whatever this is, unknown, I don't care, b1, I don't know, b n minus 1, I don't know. Just for the uh, sake of clarity, I will denote, I will make these uh, definitions. That's fine. So now I am uh, adding all these n plus 1 equations together. Then, uh, yeah, take the n temple. So n derivative of y can be written in this form. That has the characteristic polynomial coefficients. This is the 0 to the n minus 1. I define it here. And this is a very important piece. Y is the output and time derivative of the outputs. Capital U is input and time derivative of the input. And we have a state in here. So I need to get rid of this state. So using the Kelly Hamilton theorem, basically, every characteristic, uh, every system matrix satisfies its on characteristic execution. So, which is perfect. That's why I multiply all these different derivatives by a 0 to a n minus 1. So basically, this jump you see is in here is 0. So, based on the Kyle Hamilton theorem, then this collapses to this differential execution curve. So, uh, just again, for the sake of clarity, I'm defining this n in a system state based on the outputs. I know that they are time derivatives, so I'm not going to use time derivatives in the states, but here are the inputs, so I'm just combining everything on this state. So basically, after that, I can write this linear system. 
But the problem is, by the way, these, this is the unknown part. The rest is unknown. So the problem here is, this is not exactly an input, equivalent input output map, because it maps and derivative of the control signal to the output. So I need to do something with that. So to eliminate this differentiation of the signals, we need to filter input and output through this uh, monitor polynomial. Well, basically, it is nothing but in the Laplace domain, a filter of n, and is the uh, upper bound of the system model that we assume. Assume to be a system upper bound. So, basically, I am filtering everything in here by this filter. So, basically, at the end, when I filter x n, basically previously it was y, now it becomes y of n filtered version, then it was y to the n, n minus 1 derivative of y, so it becomes filtered version, so that if I filter, it we have definitely we have noise, so that with this, with this uh, Monte Carlo's pol polynomial, we can choose lambda here, such that uh, we can get rid of, we can cut the noise that we have in the uh, system state. So we have this system state. So here, we also, when we apply this filter, we are also going to filter that, we filter that, here we filter that, so we need to filter that. Basically, when one month we apply the filter, basically I can write it as, in Laplace domain, as n minus, I just need to subtract it, that term. Basically, I can write it as two parts, this part plus the actual u. So basically, here I recover actual u. So basically, equivalently, an alternative input output equivalent to non minimum controller realization of the filtered system can be given in this form xn plus equals to af xn plus e f u and i have this system. So as you see, basically this non minimal state space realization has the same input output map through this dynamic. So basically we took the system xp dot equals to yp equals to, we converted that system to an, another system, but here the important part is we know the system states. This AF, BF, CF has some uh, important characteristics, so here the AF, this part is known, not nothing, this is zero, this is zero, here we have lambdas. Lambda comes from this uh, money curve polynomial of our choice. So we know that part. Only red parts are unknown. Bf is totally known. And here Cf is unknown, but we do not care. Because now we are not going to do output feedback. We converted an output feedback problem to state feedback. So I will just use so control x from here. I, I, I know this state, I'm going to use this state, and I will only be designing an adaptive controller for that system. 